now we get to see what resources are in BookFlix. So BookFlix, again, you access it through yorklibraries.org and then online resources for kids and then just scroll down to BookFlix. So when you put in your library card number and click submit, it will take you here. You can um, skip the intro or for the first time, I'll let you see it. I have it muted. Uh, usually it tells you um, right here, things that you get to do. So these are the categories. Let's say I wanna do animals and nature in this category. There are so many books that I have available at my fingertips. I don't have to check any books out or have a limit of, of how many I can borrow each month. You can read as many or all of them the same month if you want it. Um, you don't have to ever have to return the books. It's just a subscription. So let's say I want this, The Ant and the Caterpillar and the Ant Colony. Most of these books in BookFlix have a fiction and a nonfiction book connected together based on what they're about. So The Ant and the Grasshopper fiction and Inside the Ant Colony. So um, you'll notice this is Watch the Story and this one's Read the Book. It's still read to you, but it's a recording and this is the reading of a book. Afterward, you can do these uh, fun activities to test comprehension. And I'll show you what this looks like. When I click on it, it'll take a second to, to load what the watching looks like. And right here, I can choose whether to read along or not. I'll just go say it's just watching it. So then for reading the book, it'll take a second to download as well. See right here, you are reading inside an ant colony. So I can make it fit my screen, but I don't want to because I'll. So I can have it read to me, highlighting the word as I go. I can make it fit nice and big for myself or make it small again. When I want to go back, I can go back to the main screen. I can. Um, go to, to watch the story, you know how it was paired with it. I'm going to go back here for a second to show you about how to access them in Spanish. If you only want books read to you in Spanish, you'll click right here, this button for Spanish. And now when I click Animals in Nature, there's a lot fewer options, but all the options here can all be switched to Spanish. So you'll notice this same book, The Caterpillar and the Polywog. Let's see when I click it. It still shows it to me in English. The Caterpillar, you see, see right here, it's still in English. Don't get confused. When you click on there, then you can switch it to Spanish. Now I can click right here to Spanish. So you have to choose it in English first and then change it to Spanish. I know that gets confusing. Um, again, so when you're looking for Spanish books, you put this button on and then it will show me only Spanish books. So there will be fewer options, but there will be options that have the ability to switch to Spanish. So let's say I want this to have Happy Birthday Moon. I have to click it in English. Don't look around for it in Spanish. And then I have to convert it after I click right here, changing it to Espanol. So uh, there are so many books to enjoy here. Um, I'm gonna switch out of Spanish so you can see just how many books there are. I just chose the imagination category. Look at all these fun books that I can read. Uh, again, ES means it has the option to switch to Espanol. I can listen to the Three Little Pigs and then read about a nonfiction story about pigs. I can read The Teacher from the Black Lagoon and then this is the way we can just go. See all these options. So BookFlix is a really fun option when you're at home. Uh, 
being able to read all these books without having to check anything out or worry about returning it on time. You just need your library card number to enter it in with no spaces and then just click submit. So um, it's a quick intro to BookFlix and um, thanks for listening.